What's going on YouTube? Daybreaks on 48 coming back at you guys with yet again another Marvel Legends figure review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Moon Knight. Now as you guys can clearly see we have Moon Knight out of the box and I gotta say I'm really digging this figure a lot. I don't really know much about this particular character but he has one of those designs that you kind of gravitate towards or at least it's just for me. I gravitate towards this type of simplistic design and I really do dig it. So with that said I already showcased some of the accessories you get with this guy. You get the staff piece that we have already seen time and time again. We've seen it first with the Daredevil or maybe not the first even but we've seen it with the Daredevil figures and yeah it's just this nice staff piece that comes apart I'm gonna move Moon Knight out of the way so you get these you just little literally peg it into place and there's your staff nothing too crazy about it all right the other accessory you probably couldn't tell because it's just so thin and uh, when he's when it's on the actual figure this chest armor piece is that nice pearlescent white as this thing so it might be very difficult to see it so let me just put it in there again and let's see if you guys can spot it can you see it eh sorta but if I didn't tell you you probably wouldn't have seen it maybe you might have who knows so with that said this piece right here is this nice pearlescent white once again it's this really really pliable material but be do be careful because these edges right here are sharp even though this piece is actually quite rubbery so yeah be careful with that up next you get two sets of closed fisted hands that look just like this now if you take a close look you're going to see that there's little peg holes here why well it's because you get three of these uh, I don't know what these are to be honest are these little boomerang things or whatever Moon Knight's weapons are you get three of these and it looks like this it's tiny 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 uh, it's the once again pliable material that we've seen when it comes to the bigger one it's just scaled down so what you can do is you can peg it into his fists and it looks like he's about to leash, unleash these little I don't know projectiles so looks really good all right and real quickly just to showcase that for those of you guys who like to see that kind of stuff you just line it up and there you have it easy as that now do be careful because these things are quite tiny so if you drop it yeah it's if you have carpet oh man it's gonna be a pain in the butt to find so with that said let's now take a look at Moon Knight he looks freaking epic. I love his design. I love the black. I love the white. I love this moon crescent that he has on his chest right there. It looks great. Now, when it comes to the sculpt, the hood right here is this nice, and it's not pliable. It's this nice sturdy material that's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to flex and deform. So that's quite nice. I think Taskmaster had something very similar to this hoodie or this hood. Um, maybe it was a little retooled, maybe it's the same, but yeah, it looks good. I love the face. The mask has all those wrinkles to make it look like there's an actual face behind it. I love the pearlescent whites that they used for the eyes. And if you look at the rim of the eyes, it has this nice bright blue to make the pearlescent white even more stand out. So that's cool. When it comes to the cape, love the wrinkles that they put into it wrinkles all over the place wrinkles all over the place it does have a peg right here to go into this peg hole but it's not really needed because yeah the cape's not going anywhere due to the fact that this head is quite large with the actual hood on now if you wanted to take off the hood I don't think it's possible um, but you can take off the cape just pull off the existing head pull off the cape and there you go it's gonna look a little weird because he has a hood but nothing no cape but whatever now when it comes to his upper diaphragm these two pieces are actually glued on to place but be careful I was not careful with my figure and I was just moving around the joints to see what uh, posability he had and the glue literally snapped off as you guys can clearly see so that's that when it comes to just shading uh, I can't really say there's uh, that much shading it's just this nice pearlescent white with this glossy black paint 
or plastic, whatever it may be. But love the little detailing on his forearms, his fists, or his hands right here. Even the sides, these look great. All of this looks fantastic. When it comes to articulation, head can go full 360. Can look up, which is quite nice. Can look down, which is nice. The arms, it's kind of limited because, once again, this shoulder padding, it's going to get in the way. And as you guys clearly saw, it just came off again. It can full rotate 360. Uh, bicep swivel is there. Double jointed elbows is there. Full rotation in the wrist and the hinge is there. When it comes to the diaphragm, you have that nice ab crunch. Waist joint right here. Be careful because these are taped, or not taped, but glued in place on the lower half. So if you move this a lot and it kind of hits this piece right here, it can definitely pull off the actual glue. The legs can go out that far. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees. The feet can go out that far down that far and beautiful ankle rocker so there you guys have it guys this is my review of moon knight and i gotta say if you can find this one in the wild i highly recommend it especially if you're a moon knight fan if you're a just a marvel legends fan this is a definitely this is definitely a nice piece to have in your collection because it just looks nice so if you are in if you're looking for it and want to pick it up then I highly, highly recommend you do so. And with that said, guys, this is Daybreak Sum 48, and I am signing out. Peace out, guys.